Hey everyone, my name is Corey from Secrets Woodworks. Today we're going to be building a clamp rack. Um, I got the free plans from Jonathan Katzmosis' website. So make sure and check him out, uh, his YouTube channel as well as Instagram. And uh, uh, the link will be in the description box below. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, these uh, clamps are really easy to put together. Um, just uh, make note that when you do put these together, you have, after you do all your cuts, your long point here will be your bottom edge um, on your clamp. Um, just make sure that your spacer actually goes on that side and not the other. Um, so it'll basically go on like this. And then with a, uh, yeah, <laughs> your piece on the back, um, your French cleat, the other side of your French cleat on the back. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start these. Now, the, so each piece, each clamp takes two of these, one spacer, and then one part for your French cleat. So we will go ahead and. these now initially I'm just at least getting glue on this side and then putting this piece on next 
and I am using an uh, inch and a half brad nails. Flip this back around. These are really simple to put together. And they seem to come out really strong. Wipe off the excess glue. And then your back piece of your uh, French cleat. I do want to mention it is important that this is square it's flush to the top of this or your bracket will actually set uh, crooked so let me get the rest of these put together and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what I got now it is important that um, when you're attaching your piece of your French cleat onto the bracket, it is important that it is flush along the top. Um, if not, your bracket is just going to set crooked. Um, so let me get the rest of these pieces made, and then uh, we'll show you what we have. So I also would like to mention, um, when you are putting these guys on, you can see where I shot, 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 shot. Well, not really paying attention. You can see in here where I wasn't paying attention to the bevel. So make sure you don't do what I did and shoot it that low. So make sure you keep it up in the, uh, the meaty part of the bracket. So, and that being said, um, here's how these turned out. So, I do have, um, I just made uh, today, so three more uh, at an inch and a half. The rest of these are at an inch space. And this is one of the new ones here. And then I still got one of the other new ones to put up. So, this is how the rack turn, is turning out. Um, which is great getting everything off the floor um, these things work great and they can really hold a, a ton of a ton of weight now like for these um, I gotta make some more one and a half inch or one to one and a half inch space so I can turn these sideways and then I can get more of these on um, and then I still have a few some of the older clamps there and then I really want to get these up and then I know I'll, I'll be making uh, more of the the ones with the inch and a half space so i can uh i'm able when i do buy more of the uh, longer ones or the bessies um i can get those hung as well so this uh clamp rack is super easy to make um i build this or, or what i have now actually out of the scraps that i had left so i'll eventually end up uh, adding to it at some point but i have to uh i can't use all the space um, here in the future, I got a toolbox that I'm going to build to kind of get rid of uh, this little red guy right there. Uh, it'll end up being just a, a better thing, a little lower profile kind of sort of, kind of thing. The, um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, give me a shout. Um, oh, and by the way, I know there's a lot of these videos out. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's better, or sometimes it helps if you see someone else doing it, I guess. I know I didn't do any talking um, in this video, except for the beginning and end. Uh, this is my first video, so uh, I know they'll get better as we go. And of course my editing will get better as I go. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the box below. Like and subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, thanks.